welcome to another episode of Ren's Wasteland Camp Review slash Dumpster Fires of the Commonwealth. As you can see behind me, is Dumpster Fire. Actually, that's my camp that I just finished a while back. But uh, the Dumpster Fire uh, makes a nice prop for these videos, so I'm probably going to keep it for a while. Alright, let's check out the first camp on our list today, which is Strange Dangers Camp. Or Stranger Dangers Camp. Beware of men in white vans that come and offer you candy, or puppies. Both are equally dangerous. Especially puppies. Alright, I'll give it a second to move. Well, I'll be. Alright, so this one is up above... Let me show you on the map. This is the Gorge Junkyard, and as you can see, they have both of the resource nodes active, which is nice, because it's a lot of material to process. They have uh, a greenhouse, which, in keeping with the fact that they've actually built a building that is a house, that's actually kind of cool. It's not one of those where I just set out my plants on the uh, planting tiles, because uh, that's all I can do. In this case, up here, the soil is kind of uh, iffy when it comes to planting in general. So this is, if you've got something you desperately want to make sure you get, this is the best way to get it at this location. Because um, you're sitting on top of a large rock. Now, in their entryway, you have the uh, beautiful two stairs going up in a room that is filled to the brim with all their working items in their shop. Up here, you've got the... Uh, pipe organs, some displays of items they've collected, one hell of a view, and uh, their ally. It's not a bad little layout as far as like building layouts go, it's actually pretty well done. The only knock I've got is there's no bathroom that I can find that's visual. Well, my mistake, my mistake. They even have the gold toilet out. That is like a bonus point. So they're already up to two points, three points if you count that they made their shelter look like it actually goes into the wall. The only problem that I've got with this thing is I really don't like the layout for the downstairs as far as like how they've got their workroom done, but I understand you've got to put that stuff somewhere, so you might as well put it out where you can get at it relatively easy. And this would have probably been the living room slash dining room of the original house. But... Yeah, I mean, not bad. The other thing I could say is I would have probably put a porch where this front section is so that I could have the view. But that's a me thing. But they did as well as you could. I mean, they put glass walls up and everything else without going that route. So, And the building overall is not a bad design. It is actually pretty much a classical design as far as construction goes. Well, there it goes. I guess Stranger Dangers thought that I was a little bit too stranger and they were in too much danger. But on a scale of 1 to 10, even though the house just disappeared, I'm still going to give it a, a 7. It was a nice place. Well done. The only thing that I have issues with is some of the aesthetic choices. But still, it's better than a lot of places that you visit. We'll go down here and we'll check out uh, CCZ0608's camp. I'm up really late, or really early, depending on how you look at it, on uh, servers bouncing around. Filming, that's usually when I do a lot of my filming, unless it's right after I've played for a few hours. I'm going to come across some camps that I think need to be filmed. Let's see what this one's got. You have the water purifiers right out here. And let's see. Yep, they're not locked. Well, they're not locked anymore. Let's see now. Two toilets on the outside. Coming this way. They've got the new Brotherhood of Steel awning set. Which basically lets you build a high-end... That is from the Blue Moon Rising. 
thing. Or no, no, no. It's from the uh, the other one that goes off over here at Middle Mountain Pit Stop. The uh, awning, the one that actually gets you the Blue Devil, if I remember right. Okay, you've got uh, this building here with nothing in it. This here with nothing under it. That one there with nothing in it. I'm going to guess they're in the process of building this camp, but let's take a quick peek anyway. The vendor area is the most complete area they've got. They went for the shelter into nowhere. But they made it look sort of like a door going into that. So I can kind of give them some points for that, I guess. A lot of stuff out. I mean, it's not a dumpster fire by any means. And it's not a great camp either by any means. It's just kind of eh. And an eh score is somewhere right around off. Well, they got two outhouses. So I'm going to give them a five instead of a four. Because it's kind of middle of the road. Better than some, worse than others. Not a real great camp not a real bad camp either so as that is a five let's check here and the last one we're gonna hit today is a wild ziggy's camp and that is what happens at when you use a uh, tesla rifle at the uh, moonshine event sorry about the lag there for a minute it happened in reality and in the game but yeah that picture is what happens whenever you use a tesla rifle at the moonshine event it kind of does all the chain thing or at least it used to i don't know if it's still doing it or not but i took pictures of it submitted a report that it was going on i don't know if they actually ever did anything with it or even looked at the report that I sent because that's the way they kind of work at different points okay so here we are on the map we're just outside of Morgantown as you can see Morgantown's right here they're right outside the sign they've got water purifiers in this little creek which again not a bad idea especially given the current challenge running you've got a uh, vendor bot right out here in his own little box again not a bad idea They've got some merges going on with their stash and scrap and ammo container right here so that they could sit it right off the side all as one big unit. They used the bridge kit. I always like to use a bridge kit when I build here anyway, just as a way to get across that. Um, their foundations are set a little low, and you can tell that because of all the grass coming out. The way to get rid of this is, if you notice this going on in your camp, you can either try what they did, which is put down a rug, or you can raise the foundation, and if you have the uh, confetti from Helvetia, you can throw that down on the ground, then put your foundations back in. That should clear it up, but uh, with this game, it's, it's the miracle of science that it is, after all. I like the roof set. It's the newer set, the one that actually has a, a stuccoed ceiling in it. They've got some various things on display to show that they've played the game for a while, like these dresses are a pain in the butt to farm over an extended period of time, and you have to go to the Brotherhood's base at... Let me show you on the map. Fort Defiance is where they spawn at. Inconsistent bases. And you could just be hopping servers, just looking for those for an extended period of time. Got our Nuka-Cola guy here. Person here using the, uh... Aw, it's like a little old lady and her husband. With a slave collar and a mirror. It's actually kind of cool. No. Not bad. 
Let's go ahead and check the other side, see if there's anything back here that we missed. The building's structurally sound, it doesn't have a bathroom. I'm guessing their symptomatic is broken. That's a nice merge, by the way. I always like that one. Um, it's kind of like Luke Skywalker in a back to tank. But anyway, I digress. They've got plants out over here. Some vines on the walls on this side, which is the shady side, which makes sense. They've got their little chickens out. Yeah, yeah, on a scale of a... I mean, they have merges going on, which means they've played the game long enough to learn how to do that trick. And they managed to get this guy to sit in there without too much of an issue. Um, so, and they even put a little sign on their thing saying that it's for low levels, that their shop is meant for low level characters. So they've been playing for a good long time and they've done a lot of stuff with it. So I would go as far as to give this one a good solid 7 as well. So that's two 7s and a 5. That's actually not bad for a, an episode of this. No real dumpster fires. I mean, I'm surprised. Oh well. It's been fun having you guys along with me on this stupidity. Um, if you'd like to see more of it, feel free to subscribe. There are... A lot of episodes of this and some of them do have dumpster fires some of them have four episodes some of them have multiple episodes because I kept running into camps that are so lousy that I couldn't change my mind and get out of what I was doing until I found something that I liked at least anyway have fun with the game uh, I've taken a step away from it a bit as I've almost completed the scoreboard I have started playing Conan Exiles um, may post a video or two about that. Um, anyway, have fun. See you some more in a bit.